The stock market has been selling off for days now. The question everyone wants to know, where is the bottom? When do we see a tradable rebound in the markets? A big clue, the charts of the very popular ETFs known as the ARK funds run by founder Kathy Woods. Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to the channel. I'll just get right to it here. You know, sell-offs like the one we're going through right now, they come around from time to time and they go with the territory. But sell-offs and corrections, if you're prepared for them, are also potential uh, opportunities if you can identify uh, points where a particular stock or a market index might be ready to rebound. That's sort of where you can draw your line in the sand and say, this is where I'm ready to take a risk again. And I think that rebound, that line in the sand, is coming up next week for two particular reasons. Reason number one, the Federal Reserve holds its latest meeting on interest rates next Tuesday and Wednesday. The announcement comes out at 2.15 p.m. Wednesday. And so the outcome of that meeting isn't really in doubt. You know, the Fed has promised that it is committed to raising interest rates. But, you know, the key thing to remember here is that the stock market basically hates uncertainty of any kind. And so with this meeting sort of hanging out there, even though the Fed has telegraphed it for a long time, and so again, the market hates that sort of uncertainty, and therefore for a lot of pro fund managers, they just sort of want to stay away and not make big commitments. Now the other part of all this, of course, is the weakness in the overall stock market. And the worst of that market weakness has been centered around small and micro cap stocks. If you look at uh, a chart of say the Russell 2000 small cap index, it is clearly far weaker and has descended uh, much further in value compared to say the S&P 500. Uh, so small and micro cap stocks have undergone waves of selling and, and really uh, it's been going on not just for days but for weeks and for some stocks, some categories of small and micro cap stocks, it's been happening for months. Now, I think that selling has only a little bit further to go, and one clue comes, an important clue, from the charts of a particular group of ETFs known as the ARK funds. So this is a look at ARK Innovation, symbol A-R-K-K. -K. Again, one of the most popular ETFs out there and holds a great many of these uh, very small sort of cutting edge uh, tech stocks of different kinds. The key here is number one, you had this low in March, another low in May. And both of those, if you see these like large green and red bars there on both of those points, sort of represent uh, a spot where lots of folks were either buying in and lots of other folks were selling, right? So those represent extremes for that sort of thing. And why stocks tend to, and ETFs like this, tend to repeat patterns, I'll, I'll leave to the psychologists to uh, talk about. But the key thing I'm looking at is over here with uh, the ETF trading at around you know, $77, $78 or so. And I expect that basically over the next handful of days, it's going to descend further and basically somehow or another touch the bottom of this channel. It's just one of those things that you tend to see with lots of stocks. But uh, I'll show you another one. This is another of the uh, ARC funds, the ARC Genomic Revolution Fund. The trajectory, the downward trajectory is a little steeper, but it's basically the same thing. You have this parallel channel on the decline. You have a low, in this case, uh, March of last year, another low in May. And again, I would uh, basically be uh, betting on this uh, ETF continuing to decline until it can get down to the bottom part of this channel. It's just one of those things that stocks tend to get drawn up or down towards those uh, channel markings. So let's look at another of the ARK fund ETFs. This is the ARK FinTech Innovation uh, Fund. ARKF. And as you can see, the, the general trajectory, very similar. This one's already trading close to or at the bottom of its channel. If we look at uh, March of last year, another low in May of last year, and here it is 
at the bottom. And so here's the ARC Next Gen Internet ETF, ARKW. As you can see, it's also nearing the bottom of its channel. And it wouldn't surprise me to see, see the, this one if my uh, theory and assumption is correct here, basically trundle along the bottom of this uh, uh, range at the bottom here. And then after the Fed meeting, within say a day or two, then start seeing it move higher as the uncertainty lifts on these things. I think there's one more that I was gonna show you. And this is the ARC Robotics, uh, Technology and Robotics ETF, ARKQ. And again, very similar. It's had a low in uh, March, another low in May. And if we connect those with this uh, set of parallel lines, again, just a little bit further to go before it gets down to the bottom. And this one, it's around three and a half to 4%. So I'm not gonna belabor the point uh, too much further beyond this. The, the key element here is stocks will quite often trade within a range of highs and a range of lows. It works the same for ETFs. And uh, if you were to make bets on where that uh, a rebound could happen for a lot of these very badly beaten up stocks. So I'm saying that I think uh, some of them have another three or 4% of downward activity to go. And then once we get past that Fed meeting next week, I think that will clear the stage for uh, a nice rebound uh, beyond that, at least for another couple of months. All right, something to think about. If you like what I'm talking about, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, love to see you subscribe to my uh, website as well. I'm Jeff Yastine.